Good evening. Welcome to this service of reflections on the Stations of the Cross from St Andrew's Church in Walkerville on this Wednesday evening in Holy Week. Again, we will use tonight the order of service provided by the Church of Christ Church St Lawrence in Sydney and drawing on the poetry of the Reverend Dr Malcolm Guite. The order of service is found in a link on our Facebook page or it has been emailed. We'll begin tonight with the opening devotions on page 3 and then to page 20 where we will uh, recommence our reflections with the ninth station. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, our life and resurrection. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On page 20, the ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. He weeps with you, and with you he will stay when all your staying power has run out. You can't go on, you go on anyway. He stumbles just beside you when the doubt that always haunts you cuts you down at last and takes away the hope that drove you on. This is the third fall and it hurts the worst. This long descent through darkness to depression from which there seems no rising and no will to rise or breathe or bear your own heartbeat. Twice you survived. This third will surely kill. And you could almost wish for that defeat. Except that in the cold hell where you freeze, you find your God beside you on his knees. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, 
and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Let us proclaim the mystery of our redemption. Lord, by your cross and your resurrection you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. You can't go on, you go on anyway. He goes with you, his cradle to your grave. Now is the time to loosen, cast away the useless weight of everything but love. For he began his letting go before, before the worlds for which he dies were made emptied himself, became one of the poor, to make you rich in him and unafraid. See, as they strip the robe from off his back, they strip away your own defences too. Now you could lose it all and never lack. Now you can see what naked love can do. Let go these bonds beneath whose weight you bow. His stripping strips you both for action now. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the 22nd Psalm. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning. All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. For dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes amongst themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots.
let us proclaim the mystery of our redemption. Lord, by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. See, as they strip the robe from off his back and spread his arms and nail them to the cross. The dark nails pierce him and the sky turns black. And love is firmly fastened onto loss. But here a pure change happens. On this tree, loss becomes gain. Death opens into birth. Here, wounding heals and fastening makes free. Earth breathes in heaven. Heaven roots in earth. And here we see the length, the breadth, the height, where love and hatred meet and love stays true. Where sin meets grace and darkness turns to light, we see what love can bear and be and do. And here our Saviour calls us to his side. His love is free. His arms are open wide. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by, watching. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, if you are the King of the Jews, save yourself. Let us proclaim the mystery of our redemption. Lord, by your cross and your resurrection you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross.
the dark nails pierce him and the sky turns black. We watch him as he labours to draw breath. He takes our breath away to give it back. Return it to its birth through his slow death. We hear him struggle, breathing through the pain who once breathed out his spirit on the deep. Who formed us when he mixed the dust with rain and drew us into consciousness from sleep. His spirit and his life he breathes in all, mantles his world in his one atmosphere. And now he comes to breathe beneath the pall of our pollutions, draw our injured air to cleanse it and renew. His final breath breathes us and bears us through the gates of death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance, watching these things. Let us proclaim the mystery of our redemption. Lord, by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Turn to page 32 for the concluding prayers. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, look with mercy on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and to be given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. 
Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is governed and sanctified, receive our prayers and supplications which we offer before you for all people in your Holy Church, that all its members in their vocation and ministry may truly and godly serve you, through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. O merciful God, you have made all people, and you hate nothing that you have made, nor desire the death of sinners, but rather that they should turn and live. Have mercy on all who have not known you, or who deny the faith of Christ crucified. Take from them all ignorance, hardness of heart, and contempt of your word. And so fetch them home, blessed Lord, to your fold, that we may be made one flock under one shepherd, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this journey the past three nights. And I pray blessing upon you as we enter the great three days of the Easter Paschal Mystery. May the cross of the Son of God, who is mightier than all the hosts of Satan and more glorious than all the angels of heaven, abide with you in your going out and your coming in. By day and by night, at morning and at evening, at all times and in all places, may it protect and defend you from the wrath of evil people, from the assaults of evil spirits, from foes visible and invisible, from the snares of the devil, from all low passions that beguile the soul and body, may it guard, protect and deliver you. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ bless us, who for us was scourged, laden with his cross, and crucified. Amen.